We ain't wasting no time. Real quick, man. Let me tell y'all something real quick, man. Cause I see a lot of creators. Shout out to, shout out to all the people that's creating great content. That's making stuff. That's actually promoting a product, a service. I see it. I see y'all. That's what's up. Um, shout out to the creators. That's what I want to remind y'all. The motherfucking internet is not just going to do the work for you. I think so often the idea of glorifying unity does not actually um, it, does, it, it doesn't actually validate that that's the actions that's going to take place. A lot of people on here creating this stuff, and I say, I, like I said, I, I see y'all created in a motherfucker. Jewelry makers, gardeners, crafters. Um, it's a lot of other creators that's doing a lot of other creative stuff that I've never seen until I got on Instagram. But I just want to remind y'all that you got to do something else, like be more engaging with people. You have to interact with people that are creating like in similar ways that you create and you have to collaborate. I see a lot of people with a bunch of interaction and a bunch of followers, but they lack like sales. They lack support. I got a website. Usually when somebody reach out about jewelry, 90% of the time, 90% of those people, they only reach out when I'm in a live broadcast. They don't go to the inbox and send a message. So <laughs> I know a lot of people fall for the clout chasing, energy seeking, attention seeking people. And that could be a discouragement. So my advice is anybody that's reaching out about purchasing or buying something or whatever the case might be, just ignore that. Just ignore it until you see those people in the inbox. Once you see them in the inbox and they actually moving forward beyond just like dropping comments. Then that give you a better idea how serious they are. You have to do other things like making, you gotta make flyers. You gotta fucking make flyers. You have to make business cards. What about when y'all go outside? What about when you in the physical realm? What about the people that are not interested in communicating? in the social meta world. You don't got nothing for them. I'm just saying like, the internet not just gonna do the work for you. Just cause you put up a lot of nice ass content, it's a lot of people that ain't fucking with you. So you have to identify with your customer. You have to identify with the ones that are capable of building and growing and assisting and adding value to your journey. Other than that, you're just going to keep having um, expectations from people, places, and things and circumstances that are never add values. You got to do, you got to do the work. <laughs> like you, you have to do the work. I don't even pay nobody no mind no more when they be talking about what they want and what they need. If they don't hit the inbox, I'm not even about to waste and engage that energy into even entertaining those people. Some people just need somebody to talk to 
Some people, they just need some attention. They need a hug. They need some love. But you got to get on your grind because the internet ain't going to do it for you. People have products and services that they're not even advertising, but they're advertising everybody else's product content comment on everything got their two cents in on everything and ain't even put one cent one cent ain't even put one cent one cent effort now for them creators that's actually like creating and being um, proactive and pushing that brand pushing that product pushing that service you're gonna get you're gonna get the results that come with that but if you just getting up and you putting up a post and you and you crying and griping about lack of support you see that a lot of these interactive I don't know what you call it people, accounts, you see a lot of these entities don't even support themselves. So before you start crying and screaming about a lack of support, pay attention to what you what you serve and pay attention to the to the crowd around you. One of the main reasons I got off of this page and I started using my Eat Plants Not Peels page is because I didn't use this page, right? I abused it. And with that being said, I opened this page up to a lot of lurkers, followers, weirdos, um, people that lack love and compassion and confidence. So this page is like a clinic now. It, you know, it's not a, it's no longer like a storefront. So most of my construction stuff that I'm promoting and advertising, I do that on another page now. Um, my jewelry, I have a whole totally different page for all my copper jewelry, copper accessories, whatever it is you want or need made out of copper and crystals. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. So, yeah, if you're creating, you're selling a product, you're promoting a service, you got to get to them other platforms. You have to get to platforms that don't require for you to engage and show your face and having to put your voice on there. I think that's what a lot of it, that's where a lot of the separation comes in at from people selling their products and services because it's so much personal content mixed in with product and service. You have to separate those entities because people get uh, strayed away from um buying a product or a service like they get strayed all the way away because they get so distracted so complacent with all this other stuff that's going on like like for instance i get up every day and i don't advertise every day but when i'm on facebook marketplace and i'm going to uh, put up some advertisement on there i get distracted sometimes i might i might be distracted for 20 or 30 minutes just looking at posts looking at reels looking at people that I'm following on my timeline. And that's when I usually have a good opportunity to take a, a glance at stuff that's coming down my timeline based, based on the people that I follow. So I usually unfollow people most of the time just through seeing content or when I go live or if I put up advertising in my story, I'm looking at all these lurkers, all of these people that don't have content on their page. I want my pages to be to where everybody I'm following, they are content creators. Right now, I still got a, a lot of people that I'm following that's not creating content. They're not engaging. They're not they're not supporting. So there's no interacting. So I'm I'm constantly uh, rebuilding my pages and cleaning them up. So this Black Blessed Hands page, it was like one of my favorite pages because I put in a lot of work with just putting up 
different varieties of like projects so that they give people an idea without having to be so much conversation all the time. So I'm on a mission to clean up this page and remove all of the spies, all of the weirdos, all of the people that I had a disagreement with, all of the people that I may have did a project for and things didn't go so well. And now the thing you do is sit back and lurk and just spy and watch. So I'm on a mission to finish cleaning up this page. I just haven't been giving it a lot of attention because I've been working on my other pages. But since I got my other pages to where I need them to be, now I'm about to start back cleaning this page up and continue to use it as a uh, as an advertising and promoting hub. But yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at with it. The internet got, not going to do the work for you. You got to constantly be filtering out uh, trolls, spies, people that prey on your demise, prey on your downfall. Like whatever is not resonating with you in the, in the current. Like I really believe that some people just ain't got the balls to unfollow me or block me. So a lot of time I have to unfollow me for them and I have to, you know, remove <laughs> I have to just remove myself back because I really feel like even when it comes to following people, it becomes like a pattern. So for some people, they get so used to seeing content or hearing people or seeing people and they might not even all the way agree or they might not even be fully intentional on why they following that person. They might just be following just to pray on the downfall to see if you're still doing good, waiting on you to do bad. But whatever the case is, the internet not gonna do the work for you. It's not gonna do the work. Like, I came here to unify, promote products, promote services. In exchange, I just get a lot of weirdos. I just get a lot of people looking and staring and commenting, not really like supporting, not buying product. That's what happens when you come to these social platforms with no intentions, with really like no plan, like no no full intentional plan or no no blueprint on how you're gonna navigate and use the app. I didn't really have that down when I came to these platforms, especially Instagram. I was just on Instagram, really just trying to see if I could book more work. That was my only intention on being on Instagram. Then when I took interest in having these conversations, spiritual conversations, intellectual conversations, just conscious community, whatever you want to call them. I started that in like 2020 and I lost interest in that by like 2021. Um, and then it took me like a year, all of like 2022 going into 2023 to kind of like make my way back into having entries into like using social media as much as I was the prior prior years before. But now I'm at a place where it's just like, okay, we just gonna get this money. We're gonna use this for extra this is just a another place to solicit for customers for real. So what better way to use this Besides getting money and I guess connecting to people that could be resourceful and valuable to add to your life, to your lifestyle. Because um, all that other shit, I was just like, man, what did I get out of that shit? What did I get out of it? I got an experience. I, I was able to learn and I was able to identify how the app was being used versus how I was using the app. So that's what it allowed me to do. Like it allowed me to get a feel for how people express themselves versus the world that I come from that I'm used to communicating in, which is this physical world, this dimension. I ain't never know. I ain't never had no clue that it would be so fucking weird and it would take so much just to try, try to like 
get somewhere further in society. But it didn't seem like it didn't seem like this was elevating nothing too much. So that's why I just pulled myself out of here because I don't like um you know I don't like to um be around crowds for one, and I feel like I created and I drew in a lot of crowds, like just a lot of people that just want content. They just want to be fed content. Not unity. They don't want unity. They don't want to collaborate. They don't want to support. They just want content. That's it. So I recognized it. And I see what it was. Because before that, be before I opened my page up to these conversations, everything was sweet. But once I started doing this spiritual community bullshit, it got weird. It made my it made my whole algorithm change up. Like it, it it started attracting and drawing in all followers. You feel me? Three percent supporter, ninety seven percent was followers, lurkers, hurt people, validation seekers, um, eagle strokers. Like I say, the other three, the other three percent was supporters by default. So that three percent of support that I constantly was receiving is what held me grounded to like make myself present at times, just to pop in, pop out, let people know I'm still here. I'm still available. I'm just behind the scenes. If you still need to get in touch with me you just got to catch me in my inbox or hit me on one of my other pages i don't put my other pages up that often because i learned like i said i learned from 2020 and 2021 like oh i gotta be a little more strategic because it's a lot of it's a lot of people that's that's just using this for their tv they just on here to get entertained you know it's just tv so I had to make sure I started using this app in a different way so I could target more of those people that I was looking to sell jewelry to and that I was looking to um, sell construction trades and services to. So, yeah, it ain't all bad, but it ain't all good. It ain't all bad. It ain't all good. We right it. We right in that. We in that dual place. We in that dual place of duality, learning how to work with it, move through it. But yeah, like I said, shit ain't gonna, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna buy, it ain't gonna like, it's by itself. You want that product or service to sell? Present it. Present it, and I ain't talking about just put up a fucking picture and just expect people to just flood, expect people to pour into the floodgates and just support you. Because on some real stuff, I know people that create and they got products and services, and they don't never, they don't never hardly put their stuff out there. But they be talking crap about not getting support. They be talking all this shit about people not supporting them. Well, that's like if you pregnant. If a woman is pregnant and she got to go through nine months, six months, seven months, whatever it is, a pregnancy, right? If she stayed in the house and never went outside, Never exposed herself and never let nobody see. Nobody would know that baby was on the way. So she want to have a baby shower. She looking for gifts. How somebody going to gift you? How somebody going to support the baby shower? Don't nobody know nothing because you ain't never bring it out. You kept it all hidden away. You kept it on the inside. Yeah. So remember, if you don't do the work, don't expect shit to pop.
Y'all keep being shy. Keep working at these dead end ass jobs. Pondering, putting your shit to the side. How many years you gonna do it? How many more months you gonna keep putting your own creation off? How long y'all gonna keep coming on here promoting everybody else more than you promote yourself? How long you gonna watch me more than you put yourself on? Y'all will watch my content and will never even put a piece of your motherfucking work up. That's selfish right there alone. That's why I stopped using this this page right here. Because y'all selfish. Y'all just want people to feed y'all all the time. But y'all don't never got nothing to give back. Y'all don't want to give back. Then when somebody send y'all a request or ask y'all a question, y'all sit there and still ignore a person. Sit there and wave at you, greet you. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all rude. I don't know who y'all was raised by. But I treat every motherfucking thing that I run just like it's my own motherfucking home. Like y'all come up in people's shit and just be weird. And that's why I don't be on this page like that. Because I got to clean it up. You feel me? I got to clean this motherfucker up. I guess it looked it cool for weirdos to flood this page when I was, um, you know, having those spiritual community conversations. You know, so ever since then, um, shit then just, <laughs> it just transpired to a whole nother level. So it's like I got to play exterminator right now. That's why I've been operating on my eat plants, not pills. Because uh, it ain't that many people over there. And, it, and, and it's way more support over here. I got to clean it up. It's weird than a motherfucker, man. So, yeah, that's why y'all don't see me that much, that, that often. Because people be like, where you been? I ain't seen you in a while. Shit. Out the way. Trying to preserve time that I've been wasting. Trying to learn from my experiences of being on these motherfucking platforms and wasting conversations and you know what I'm saying? Avoiding people that's looking for validation in a low frequency way. I like, guess a good way to look for validation, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what's the deal, T? What's happening, fam? Man, I ain't doing, I'm over here on this other page. Just trying to remind people that you got to do the work. It ain't going to do the work. It ain't going to fucking do. It ain't going to It ain't gonna do it yourself. You got to do the work. Ah, fake woke time expired. <laughs> that sounds like a real good ass topic for real. Fake woke time expired. Damn. <laughs> I might have to title that in one of my reels. I be getting all type of good ass titles and headlines people been hitting me with lately <laughs> in the comments. Fake woke time is expired. Man, that shit's so sad too because it really make me recognize how many of our individual people out here in this in the in this realm is really not in tune with the ones that are in tune with feeling that vibration and seeing you for who you are without you saying any fucking thing. See, it's, it, it's, it's ones out here that can see through, that can see straight through all verbal conversation, all questions and motherfucking shit that people be trying to avoid. Every time you try to avoid and have, and every time you stroke eagles and look for validation, every time, like, the weird behavior, it makes you stand out more. The weird behavior makes y'all stand out more. See, it's difficult for people to come on here and be any type of thing and represent from e any type of angle. Because it get uncomfortable when you got to come on here fake. And then when it's time to address or engage into like one of your supporters or somebody that want to purchase a product or a service you don't even know how to motherfucking talk or engage it to people and I see that a lot so for me I don't even want to like like this is what I did for myself I created a website 
so that I don't have to be so all over the place and look like a fucking fraud. You feel me? So that's why I created a website and I created a whole different page so that I can send those pages over to the people that I resonate with, that I feel that I could send that over because I feel like they serious. They want to, okay, they want to purchase some jewelry. Let me send them my jewelry page so they can go see all the shit that I got available up for sale. They need some greenhouses and seeds. Let me send them my greenhouses and, and garden page. See, I'm, 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 I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention to, you know, how people move in this world. Cause I wasn't always in this world moving around. So as I continue to pay attention, I'm cultivating in this fucked up world of Instagram or Facebook, just like this world that we we all live in. And we claim that we want to unify in. No, you don't. That's an action. Y'all don't do shit in action. Y'all say stuff and there is no action. People, y'all say shit, but we're the action part. I, I see I see interaction. I see people interacting, but I don't see unity and I don't see actions taking place as a collective. But I see people talking as a collective and interacting as a collective and shit like that. But it don't never go no further than that. It's like click, hang up, start over tomorrow. We right back at the conversation table tomorrow. I see people interacting, but I don't see people inter. Acting that shit out in the physical realm. See, you, you see what I'm saying? Like they interact. They interact. I got to Yeah, that's why I said I got to just navigate the way that it works for me. So, like I said, this is just a reminder. The Internet got not going to do the work for you it's not going to do the work for you it's not don't think that just because people are appealing to people that everything ain't working out no that shit ain't working out because what end up happening is people be attracting a lot of sick people to their clinic and now you the motherfucking Attracted so many sick people, so many people that need love, so many people that need validation, so many people that just need you to get them content every day. All of this motherfucking validation seeking. They even gave us an extra tool to use, but I'm glad they took it away. I don't know if they took it away. I think it might be still there, but they even gave us an extra tool for the validation seeking need to be filled with in a soul face ass motherfuckers it's like all this extra being able to like a comment not liking a comment that's validation that's people needing further validation oh he ain't like my comment so oh he might not be fucking with me or they ain't, i wonder why they ain't like my comment why do a person gotta like a comment because this is the validation station Everything got to be validated for people to feel good. Like what? What? I don't even want nobody liking no comment because it's like, if I fuck with you, you ain't got to like, nigga, I like your comment. I fucks with you. If I already fucks with you, like what more do I need to, why I got to keep liking your comments now? Or why I got to give, you feel me like, or why you got to give me a like on my comment? You ain't got to like my comment. What the fuck is all this extra, extra, extra validation shit for? That's what's wrong now. Nah. Like people need validation. This, this lady came in a family dollar. She was like, she was like, she needed validation before she bought some wine. I don't know. Uh, I I don't know if I I ain't never bought no wine out of Family Dollar. I wonder how they wine taste. 
This the same motherfucking wine that you're going to go buy out the, out the goddamn liquor store. This the same motherfucking wine you're going to go to Walmart and they going to motherfucking have like, what the fuck is the difference, lady? She just needed that validation so she can go ahead and, all right, all right I'm a bad then. Because she, she was worried about how people was going to be looking at her. She was worried about how everybody else looking at her because she buying wine out the motherfucking dollar store. Who gives a fuck? Like, who, why, does it, why does that matter? Because we live in a world of validation seeking motherfuckers or they can't move and make the next step. They can't make the next step because they need all of this validation. So listen, don't expect the majority. Don't expect the majority. Expect the majority. But I'm telling you, if you got a thousand up like me, I gained like 1,100 followers in a year, right? But out of that 1,100 followers, nigga, it probably was only like six supporters out of that. Six. 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 Six, man. Six. Lil Boosie said it. Out of 2 million followers, 40,000 people, only 40,000 people. You know how many thousands you can get out of a million? He only had 40,000 people that genuinely, usually consistently support. Like, it's not, listen, it's supposed to be what it is. So when you drop this shit and you seeing motherfuckers not really come, because they not doing the work. You got to do the work. You got to do the motherfucking work. It's like motherfuckers want to do the work. Everybody needs some validation points. Why the fuck I got all this shit coming in my motherfucking ether? Why y'all got all this? Why y'all following all this content that y'all can't even keep up with? See, that's what's wrong with y'all. That's another motherfucking problem. You think because you following all this content, that's going to do the work for you. Y'all think because these niggas got a million followers and 700,000 followers and 800,000 followers... That's going to do the work for them. See, y'all got to start looking at these niggas in these worlds, especially these motherfucking social worlds. These niggas, they be having, like, start looking at that shit. Like, these motherfuckers, they be taking deals in the industry. Like, what type of, like, what type of shit they be doing? Like, let me tell y'all something, man. Some of these people, man, and I know this for a fact. Because all type of goddesses be coming and dropping shit on me. And I don't even be looking for it to come. You hear me from that source. I just be looking to see what I need to see. And I just be needing to get confirmation. Like, okay. Yeah. 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 Because I'm going to say it again. Just like I always say. Y'all favorite spiritual leaders. And y'all favorite motherfucking uh, conscious community conversationist peoples. Where's they real motherfucking like... What real influence, what real influence have they had that really has made an impact on this physical realm? Like, what is it in this physical realm? Like, I see so many people with so many motherfucking followers, but y'all still weak. Y'all still don't have shit going on out here. Y'all still running on the motherfucking internet like keyboard warriors. Do you know how to transmute the energy of your followers and turn it to motherfucking real life situations, support? Um, like, do y'all know how to monetize just with your followers? Like, do you really know how to do that? Do you know how to weed out people and just accept they not fucking with you? Why would you want to force somebody that's not meant to really be there intentionally to be there? That's why I don't give a fuck about views. I don't care who the fuck coming to look. That's not my concern. Only concern is to put the message out. Whether it's one o'clock in the motherfucking a.m., one o'clock in the afternoon, whether it's a thousand motherfuckers there, whether it's zero people. I don't give a fuck because I don't know who the fuck looking, who listening, who watching. But I guarantee you that message is going to go out. See, if I was concerned about who going to get it, how many people watching, how many people listening, what the fuck my background look like. That's why I'm going to turn my camera off. If I was concerned about all this validation, motherfucking self, like what? 
Like this shit, man, it got y'all sick. It got you sick, man. So every time I hear a motherfucker expecting the internet to just do the work, I'm going to replay this just to remind y'all the internet not going to do the work for you. It's not going to do the work for you. It's not. You have to put in work. You got to do that shit. Y'all forgot how to go to motherfucking Kinko's and Staples and print out your motherfucking content. Y'all forgot how to do that shit. Because if you go door to door, you'll, you'll get a motherfucker attention more like you'll be more vivid. Everything will be more vivid because now they'll be able to feel your energy. They can feel where the fuck you coming from. If you drop your advertisement and your shit out in the neighborhood at the local goddamn retail stores and places where people go to spend their money for livelihood, y'all will get more action. You will get more accurate motherfuckers that follow you. If you pass out your motherfucking your content in the physical, if you give a motherfucker a flyer with your social media information on there, then more than likely you you have better results because you already encountered this motherfucker instead of just jumping on this internet thinking it's just going to do the work for you. It's like it's meant to do everything that it's doing. It's meant to keep your ass like going against the odds on that bitch trying to goddamn win people over. Like it's an illusion. If you ain't making no money and you ain't spending no money on that bitch, then you motherfucking ain't nothing but a free slave. That's it. You ain't making no money or spending no money. You a free slave. Because who got time to just be sitting up giving all this extra fucking time and you making nothing of it? Like, if we, at least if we had money and we had other financial opportunity and goddamn resources, we'd be able to make an impact. But sitting the fuck back broke, you can't make an impact. Like, how the fuck we think we gonna do some shit? Don't you spend money every fucking time you go outside? Or when you motherfucking sitting there on that phone, you spending money, right? Okay, so what the fuck you gonna do if you ain't got no money? You ain't got no resources. How is everybody talking about what they gonna do? And ain't nobody got no money. You a slave. You gotta stay there and work. You can't go over here where I can go, nigga. Because you ain't got brave enough to say fuck that. Fuck it. You still worry about how a motherfucker gonna be talking about you because you ain't got that Benz no more. Because you'd have to take a motherfucking pay cut. Y'all not ready for the shit y'all be talking about? Y'all just trying to get some pussy and get your dick motherfucking wet. Niggas. And you bitches ain't trying to do nothing but find some new motherfucking pussy. Some new dick to hop on. Yeah. And the rest is just hating. Just acknowledge the 2%. Acknowledge the 2%, man. Fuck all the rest. Like, for real, it don't take that motherfucking much, man. I don't even sit up and fucking regurgitate the same bullshit-ass lies with the motherfuckers around me. How y'all still got patience to just be doing that shit? Fuck out of here, man. It do not take that long for a motherfucker to get in touch with you that's, that's stuck on this bitch. Why do it take people so long to motherfucking get in touch with people and you glued to this shit every day? Because you got a problem. Y'all got a problem and y'all don't see that shit. Y'all don't want to admit to that shit. Thinking the internet just going to do all the work. How the fuck the internet just going to do all the work? And it see that you ain't sincerely putting in work. It see that y'all engage more into everything else but self. Why the fuck would it do the work for you? Why? Like, y'all don't get it, man. Y'all don't fucking get it. You think we don't need money, but as soon as the motherfuckers get off of here, that's what everybody that's what everybody trying to get to. Shit stupid as hell, bro. Y'all wanna knock money. No, you only knocking it cause I ain't gotta chase that shit and slave. You chasing it and slaving. Y'all can't leave from where the fuck you stuck at. So that's the first thing you gotta figure out. You can't go fight shit with me because you still a slave. You can't leave. It ain't even no point of motherfuckers talking about, Calvin, I want to go with you next time you go to Georgia. How? Who going to carry your burdens? 
How, nigga? You ain't got no motherfucking money. You ain't got no no hustle in you. You ain't got no skill. But you on motherfucking Instagram every day, cuz. Why the fuck you waste your time, cuz? That's how I got to talk to my people. Like, damn, cuz. Nigga, you know how to build them motherfucking uh, solar systems real good. Why you ain't advertising that shit on there, my nigga? You on this bitch, stroking bitch eagles all day. That's what you do for eight hours a day. Look for validation. Accept fake love and give it back out. That's what you doing for eight hours, my nigga? Twelve hours a day, my nigga? <sighs> Entertaining clowns, my nigga? Trolls, my nigga? And you got all this creative shit inside of you. Okay. All right. If you like it, I love it. That's why I always tell people, enjoy your motherfucking suffering, my nigga, because you chose to. Fear. Oh, I can't quit. Every time I tell a motherfucker, well, quit. Every time a motherfucker come complain and talk about what they got to deal with, what they going through, da -da 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 -da, quit. Leave. Well, I mean, you know, I got to, I, I can't just... Okay, well, don't do it then. You you said you can't. It ain't shit else I can say to you. You said you can't, bro. So that's the end of discussion. That's the that's the end. It ain't shit else I could do. I ain't got the magic to magically make your ass motherfucking leave your job. I don't have the magic to magically make your motherfucking life just turn around. Like I can't. I can't do that. I can't. I don't know what to do. I can't tell a motherfucker to leave. You know why? Because that nigga ain't ready. To, he ain't ready to have his fronts down. He got to keep his fronts up. Because all them bitches he fucking with, they might not want to fuck with him if he ain't got that car no more. That $700 a, no, that $700 a month note that he got, he ain't ready to leave his job. Because he don't know. He don't believe in himself to the point to where he think he'll make enough money to pay that motherfucking car note. He don't think he make enough money to pay his motherfucking rent, pay his gas, pay his lights. See, it's a lot of self-confidence that's lacking. It's a lot of that shit that's lacking. That's why shit still the way it is. That's why the spiritual community in the fucking in the ruts. That's why everything in the spiritual community look like bullshit, look like lies. Because you can only talk so long before you motherfucking show and Manifest that shit into the physical, but if you just steadily manipulating, like motherfucker gonna start looking at that shit like, hold on, this shit is a hoax. All oh, this shit is a lie. How the fuck, like, how all these, how all these motherfucking, how is all these, listen, man, this is all I be saying. And I'm not asking a question, but I just, these be my questions for people that I would be wanting people to ask they self. How you got all these motherfucking, Highly intelligent talking people, right? You got all these people on this platform. But I never see them promoting shit to come together as a collective. I see them beefing more or having a separation or having a difference because 19 keys he don't fuck with. Uh, collide. Collide don't fuck with this guy and 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 what's that other nigga name? Uh, 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 that I forgot that phase one. He don't fuck with him because of he this and that and like we st we still we st we still promoting separation. We still idolizing motherfucking people. We still saying, hey, you heard what Kalas said? You heard that nigga Rashad Jamal said? Nigga, that's Jesus. Nigga, that's the social media Jesus. Y'all still idolizing people like y'all idolize Jesus. Y'all still scared to separate y'all motherfucking self from people like y'all scared to separate from the belief of Jesus. Y'all find motherfuckers on here and y'all attach and grab on to them like a leech. Motherfuckers be scared to unfollow me. Why? Fear. See, fear... Is much stronger than what y'all think. You would think 
that it would be that easy for a motherfucker to just go and hit unfollow, block. It's hard. Fear. Because they worry about what I'm going to think about it. They so worried about what the fuck I'm going to think about them unfollowing me. I never motherfucking followed you to follow me. I don't follow you to follow me. The fuck? <laughs> I follow what I gravitate towards based off of what's being projected. He ain't follow me, so I'm about to. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna follow him back. He unfollow me, so I'm about to unfollow him. Bitch, I didn't follow you. I'm following content. I'm following what's being projected. That's why it don't be mattering to me if motherfucker unfollow, cause I'm still following you. Cause I'm look, I'm I'm picking up on the, I'm looking at the content. I ain't paying attention to motherfucking you person. I'm looking at everything in the in, in the trajectory of what's being expressed. That's what I'm following. I told y'all I didn't come here for followers. I didn't come here for friends. I ain't come here for that. But once again, it don't matter how much you get your disclaimer. It don't matter how motherfucking honest you come off. You always gonna have people to act like, dang, here you acknowledge something. You always gonna have people act like you ain't try to motherfucking warn them. You ain't tell them from the get go. People be like, where you been? Where the fuck I tell y'all I was gonna be? What did I tell you my mission and my goal was? What did I tell you my motherfucking reason of being here was? Do you pay attention? Like y'all following so many people that you can't even pay attention to what the fuck you following. You can't even pay attention to the type of vibes that you around because y'all take in too much. Like y'all so motherfucking content hungry. I can't even keep up with all the shit that all the people around me is doing. And that's only about five to ten people. So why do I need to follow hundreds of people, let alone thousands? Why do I need to follow more than 50 people? Because at any given time, I don't have that many people in my spirit. I don't have that many people in my spirit at all. So why am I letting all of this extra shit into my spirit? See, that's why my experience is way more intentional. Because now I'm only following a handful of people. Because why do I need to be in everybody's shit all day? That's going to take more concentration away from me. I'm only following this shit right here, because this is where I'm at in the moment. In the moment right now, in the present, this is where my interest is at. All this, this is the shit that I'm for. Everything else that everybody else, I don't care. I don't need to jump and see what you're doing. I don't care. If it's not in my heart, like, I ain't got to come in. Oh, I'm just checking on you. I'm just seeing, like, nigga, I only came here to build. Like, you feel me? Like, I, like <laughs> when I check on people, I check on people. I can either call them one on one or I could pull up on them. So that shit don't be mean to nothing to me when people be coming with all the extra stuff because we still ain't unified. I see y'all don't know how to do that. Still don't know how to put these fake facades down. Still got all these masks on. So I don't give a fuck about nothing else until y'all can show me that y'all can do the other shit. I don't give a fuck about nothing that the opposition doing until y'all show me that. Oh, okay, we might have a fighting chance. Oh, okay. It seemed like it's a little more sincere now. now okay, now we can unify. But until then, I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. Because we still constantly moving, but not doing shit. Talking. Still giving this motherfucking internet millions and trillions of dollars in energy. And still broke. Still acting like we need to knock money, but need that shit every time we hang up. You need some type of money. You can't do something because you ain't got enough money. You can't buy some shit because you ain't got enough money. Y'all act like somebody about to go take some shit. That's what be killing me with y'all. Like, if you ain't got no money, how you about to get it? Y'all don't really fuck with people and don't know how to have interpersonal skills on a level to where you can get plugged. So how you going to get it if you don't do that? See, I meet all my motherfucking people and all my resources because I got to go and kick it with these people in person once they send me an address 
Once I get them information, once I'm selling them some shit, see, it got, it ain't gonna just do the work for y'all, man. Y'all have to literally put the energy behind whatever the fuck you wanna see pop off. Whatever you see, whatever it is you see that wanna pop, you wanna make pop. I can create so many pages and I got so many pages that I just log into to just do certain shit. I meet enough intelligent people in that regards, but it's just like coming to this in, in this spiritual world. I'm just trying to free some people. I'm trying to help free people because I know it's, it's tough. Y'all get into these habits y'all can't break out of. Y'all act like money is a motherfucking illusion. Like y'all not using that shit. Like y'all goddamn ain't got shit to buy. You feel me? Y'all act like it's an army somewhere sitting waiting to tear this motherfucker down and everything just be a free for all. Y'all better get logical around this motherfucker, man. You better get logical for real. Cause I'm telling you, <laughs> your, your most, look, your favorite influencer is about that bag. They is about that cash. Your favorite influencer, they is about that cash. Trust me. All of these motherfuckers that's out here building shit, inside, outside, guess what? Mm -hmm. They got that bag. It's taking cash to build it. It's taking credit cards to build it. It's taking motherfuckers that's like-minded to be out there assisting and helping to that shit get done from start to finish. That's what it takes. That's what real unity is. That's what real building is. You got to have some motherfucking moolah. Moolah. Yeah. You got to have some money or some resources. Now, if y'all don't know no motherfucking body and ain't got no real resources to where you can really make shit happen without money, you're going to need money, my nigga. You're going to need money. Like, it's a no-brainer. We all need motherfucking money to buy some shit. Today, tomorrow, tonight, the next day, we got, like, we got to do that shit. I've been out here building for 20 years. Over 20 years. And it's tough. I didn't fucking say it, man. Fuck Detroit. I'm going to the suburbs. I ain't working. I ain't working in black communities. I'm sick of black people. I did that shit for four years. And then I came back to self and was like, you know what? We need people like me more than anybody ever, ever. So I said, let me get my ass back to the hood and help the motherfucking poverty, help the hood out. So that's where I've been at ever since. But that's why I'm saying. In order for you to see some of this shit you want to see, you're going to have to start working with other motherfucking people. And I'm going to give y'all some examples of that because I'm about to let it rip with some content. I'm going to show y'all what the fuck that look like. And it's not like this is this is shit that you're going to see on the Internet that's happening outside the Internet because I'm going to share it on the Internet. You hear me? But this is my trajectory that I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you as an example to show y'all like this is what you have to do. Y'all want to build communities and bonds and motherfucking collaborate with people. I'm going to show y'all because I got plenty of receipts that's going to give y'all a vivid vision on how to do that shit. I'm going to show y'all the type of goddesses that I fuck with because I got a lot of motherfucking receipts. You hear me? I'm going to show y'all like these are the type of motherfuckers that you can get shit done with, that you could build with. Man, look, I'm trying to debate if I'm about to just, if I'm about to make some money on uh, social media or if I just want to stay outside of social media and just keep getting the shit outside of it. Because I'm about to monetize a couple of pages on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Because I got these, I got these e-books and some products that I'm selling. But it's just like, I'm getting so tired of the internet. I, I think I might just be like, fuck that. I'm going to just, I'm going to just promote my uh, services. And that's about it. Everything else going to get promoted outside with flyers. You hear me? Flyers, my nigga. Flyers. Everything else getting promoted on contact. Everything else getting promoted on contact. On motherfucking contact. Fuck that. That way, if when I give a nigga my motherfucking Instagram page or my Facebook page, oh, we didn't already exchange energy in real life. We already didn't. You feel me? Gotta feel. Because this shit right here, this shit different. This shit is 
this shit right here is different. This shit different. This shit different than the motherfucker. You feel me? This shit different, man. This shit different as fuck. I gotta get up every day and make sure I'm feeling great. But sometimes I be having like other energies around it fuck up that peace, you know? Cause I allow that energy to be around. And then guess what? I remove that energy. Separate from it. Cause I'm not forced. I'm not obligated or forced to do nothing. And I think that's what we forget. Cause I know for a fact, if we just want to get to the facts, we not supporting or creating, we not supporting or creating nowhere near enough. Every week I spend money. Every week. I might not have money all the time, like the type of money I want, but I'm spending money every month, every week, every day. So just think about it. If we all spending money every day, every week, every month, where is it going to? Who are we spending it with? Who are we spending money with all last month? Who are we spending with? The corporations, right? Who we spend money with all this month? How many times did you spend money with an independent creator? This month, last month, the month before. What percentage of your money go towards independent shit? See, if we just want to get to the core, to the facts, so we could just fucking debunk all this bullshit that's going on on this internet every day, all day. That's what I'm here to do. Kill the internet and free the people. I'm here to get the motherfucking people back into reality of what matters. Because this shit can be killed tomorrow. We get up tomorrow, none of this shit work. Remember how Facebook was shut down? Last year or the year before that? When it, Last year, I think it was. When Facebook shut down, motherfuckers was panicking. When I got on Facebook, it was just like, damn. That was another test for them to see how much we needed this shit to be at peace. And all the motherfucking comments and the, the statuses that people was putting up when Facebook came back on, I was like, damn. So these people would be fucked up if, if this shit really shut down. They really wouldn't know what to do. You've been so programmed and conformed for the last damn near 20 years. You really wouldn't know how to adapt to none of this shit being here. And that's what y'all don't want to admit to. Because we spend a lot of energy here and we don't do shit outside, out there. We don't do shit out there together. But you come out here, it's millions and trillions of people out here. See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what the fuck I'm saying, man? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That fake ass shit, man. Nigga, we could have turned this bitch around in 30 days. If we all went outside and really got on this shit, not all of us, we only need 20% of the motherfuckers that's talking. Just 20% will make an impact. We ain't even got 5%. We ain't even got 5% of a collective. We can't even get a million motherfuckers out the spiritual, out the Instagram, out the Facebook. If you combine all these apps, we can't even get a million niggas to march and stand on some shit. Say, you know what? I ain't buying shit today. I ain't motherfucking going to work today. I ain't buying no gas today. We about to all go meet up in Atlanta, Georgia for the motherfucking nigga. We, we about to, we about to stop this shit. We about to make an impact. We can't even get a thousand niggas to do that on these apps. But you'll hear motherfucker tweeting and talking. You feel me? For thousands of hours. Fuck out of here. You hear me? <laughs> I'm just saying, man, like the internet ain't going to do the work for y'all. The internet is not going to fucking do the work for y'all. It ain't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bust your fucking bubble. It ain't going to do the work for you. I'm telling you. From 2020, it's about to be 2024. What, it's going to be 10 years? We still stuck in this bitch instead of going outside and turning up? Because y'all are scared. A lot of y'all are really scared. Scared. 
scared, man. Fear. As soon as you think about doing some shit that you ain't comfortable with, you fear. As soon as you think about going and fucking working with another nigga, fear. As soon as you think about doing anything, fear. 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 I move on fear. I run towards fear. Bitch. I'm I'm conquering fear. I'm conquering all that shit that ain't ain't motherfucking kept a nigga comfortable. I'm kicking them motherfucking crutches away. I'm removing all that shit. That's why y'all be scared. That's why I don't be scared. That's why I be everywhere. Because I don't let fear run my life no more. Y'all still letting fear run y'all shit. Because like I said, if we make money and we get money all this year, we at the end of the year, what we been spending it on? Who we been spending it with? Who we been spending our money with still? What we been spending it on still? This is why motherfuckers are still the system. Because they still pushing that bitch. Still. All the young niggas, where they go? They had to get their ass out there and get a motherfucking job. Because y'all motherfucking mama, your daddy, your baby mama, your uncle, your grandma, they got tired of y'all motherfuckers sitting up, running up the Wi-Fi. You ain't doing shit. You ain't got shit coming to the motherfucking house. You ain't even carrying your own burdens. Sitting up here talking about a fucking warrior and a god. You ain't never carried no god weight on your motherfucking burdens. You always had a motherfucking crutch. So your, your experience and your, your reality of oppression is not measured nowhere near my reality of oppression and weight pulling. You hear me? And what it really feels like to be oppressed in this world. You know what I'm saying? I could have did exactly what the rest of my other siblings did. Played it safe. Kept a job. Kept a house. Kept an apartment. Went to college. I could have did all that play it safe ass shit. Every time she get tight. I go move over here with my cousin or my sister or my uncle or somebody until I can fucking get back right on my... No. Go out there head first. Go out there head motherfucking first and see what the fuck it do for you. Go out there head first and see what the fuck it do for you. See how it make you grow. See what type of growth it promote. That's why it's a lot of motherfuckers scared. That's why people don't be moving around because y'all not practicing that shit. Sitting there in places, not practicing that shit, not practicing what the fucking ancestors did. Moving around the planet, exploring, motherfucking investigating shit, seeing what the fuck happening over here. What's going on over there? Let me look up under here. We ain't doing none of that. But y'all want to be so much like the motherfucking ancestors. I bet you they ain't trying to be like us. I can guarantee you that they ain't trying to be like us they not trying to be like us but we trying to be like, like them but not by, by actions not by intent see when the youngsters grow up when my son grow up and his little cousins grow up and all the other little babies you know what they're gonna say they're gonna say they gonna say, man, all our ancestors did was argue on Instagram and Facebook. We ain't never see them doing shit outside. We ain't never see them standing on shit. We ain't never see them do nothing but be on, on the internet. That's what they gonna say about us. That's what they gonna say to us. Yeah, that's how they gonna play us. Cause that's what we doing right now. <clears throat> so much for us being the future ancestors. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all. That's all the fuck I got. I'm about to end and tap back in. I'm about to go to I'm about to go to eat plants, not pills. We got seeds to drop today. It's feeling beautiful outside. You feel me? I don't think I'm waiting on the winter time no more. I think I'm about to go outside and start motherfucking building my greenhouse and my raised garden beds. I ain't waiting on no motherfucking winter time to come through this bitch no more because it don't look like it's coming. 
Every time I look up, it's 40 some degrees outside. And we about to be in January. That shit is beautiful. You hear me? That shit beautiful. But yeah, like I said, the internet ain't gonna do the work for y'all. You gotta do the motherfucking work yourself. The internet ain't gonna do the work. It ain't. You gotta put the motherfucking energy behind. Whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you looking to put life into. To whatever the fuck it is, or however you want that life force to be behind that shit, you got to put the energy into that shit. Don't let no motherfucking numbers fool you. I done made hundreds of thousands of dollars on these motherfucking apps, and they never had over a thousand followers. You hear me? So don't let that weak ass shit fool you. Don't let that non-intellectual, mediocre ass intellect that these people be projecting out here. Don't let that shit fool you. <laughs> Don't let that shit fool you at all. I'm telling you. Do not let that shit fool you. Go look at all them pictures on my profile. Them is motherfuckers that pay hundreds and thousands of dollars to get that shit redone, get that shit remodeled. You hear me? They coming out of five, six, seven, eight thousand at a time. And y'all talking about y'all working for oppressive ass systems? Like it ain't money out here. Like people ain't got money to pay you in your community. That's what don't make sense to me when it comes to all this blah 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 like y'all make shit harder than what it is i can go out here and motherfucking clean up in the community and motherfucking get everything that i need i be learning my neighbors and learning my neighborhood and the community better you feel me i have money i have more resources because by the time i figure out who everybody is in the neighborhood it, we unified now now i'm finding out oh this person do that oh they do that I'm trying to show y'all how to fuck. Like, how you gonna make an impact if you, if you talk about the outside, but you ain't in it? You ain't making no impact. Y'all not making no motherfucking impact. Y'all stuck in the meta in the meta world. Now, if I want to go outside, guess what? If I want to go outside, I can dispatch niggas to go out there still on my behalf. See, I trained a lot of people. I paid a lot of people. You see what I'm saying? So I can still make up for not being outside just by sending these motherfuckers out there and making sure they get stuff done. Because they're going to have the same compassion that I got. They worked under me for years. They trained under me for years. If nobody worked under me or trained under me for years, it don't mean that they never attempted it just mean that if you ain't make it that far with it with me then we ain't on that type of level so anybody that's been working around me or with me for years i could depend on them just just as i could depend on myself for whatever it is that i know that they they good at and they capable of doing if it's not something that's under their criteria of being able to do we ain't gonna waste no time or energy but if it's something that they do they are they they own it. All I gotta do is pay them with some money, or I come over and help them out on the project that they gotta get done when they, you know what I'm saying? When it when that when that time may come up. But I know how to use currency like that. I'm not just looking at money for currency. I know how to un I know how to unify with people. I really know how to do that shit. It's not just money, it's not just like sitting here talking and thinking that shit gonna break somebody like never gonna break through to nobody just sitting there fucking talking see if i don't show people along with my talk talking i'll be just like the i'll be just like the next motherfucker that's just talking see people they want to they want to hear it and then they want to see a projectory of something so that they can raise their frequency so like i said once again if i didn't put up a lot of of pictures and videos to back up a lot of what I have to say a lot of people wouldn't be convinced in what I have to say at this point I probably would have never booked no work because motherfuckers wouldn't be convinced of nothing but just a talker they not they would not be convinced well damn he always on the internet talking but do he got a website how do I get in touch with this guy he say he do this and he say he offer this and blah blah blah, 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 blah. like but it's like, how, how is he sourcing it? I be hearing people and 
looking at people saying they selling stuff, and it's like, okay, I'm trying to buy. How do I get it? Do you have a website? Do you have a page? Do you have a link? You feel like, you feel me? Like, she ain't gonna. You gotta do the work. It ain't gonna do. It ain't gonna do the work itself. And a lot of people, they just mad because they don't want to do the work, but they want the rewards. They don't want to do the work, but they want every motherfucking reward that the universe has up there in store. Fuck out of here. Non-logical. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Non-logical shit. They want the universe to be inaccurate. And inaccurate at the same time. That shit don't work like that. That don't make no sense. It don't work like that. It don't. Now it's time to go outside. Get this motherfucking uh, yard cleaned up the rest of the way. But before I go outside, I got to do a little dinner prep. I got to prep some food for dinner tonight. You see what I'm saying? I got to stay on that high-ass energy. I got to be eating good if I'm going to just be spitting energy out, being on the phone, you know, being outside, working on shit. Like, I got to be energized up. I got to be. You feel me? That's the name of the game. So, yeah. I be up and shit all night, up all day sometimes, lacking energy. So I got to make sure I stay in there. So I go out there and try to He exists. Taking up space. A lot of people just taking up space. y'all gonna do if you ain't, ain't doing nothing in the community right now for your community that's something that might be most valuable to you for you to make an impact if people think doing something to the community mean you gotta go outside and walk around in the community and just be right up close and personal with people it's not what that means it just means like what type of pillar are you in the community for the community what what do you have to offer what what insight can they get from you? What service can they get from you? What products can they get from you so that they don't have to go into those systems that's working against us? What, like, what is it, what is it that you can contribute to deter people from wanting to go into the system? If you had an impact, if, if you were sent, if you landed down here and they said go into the world and make it a better place. I'm gonna put you over here. I'm gonna put you over here on this part of the world. What are you doing? What is it that you feel that you can do to bring to whatever part of that world that you in? I'm over here in Detroit, Michigan. So if I'm knowing these jobs are low paying, I'm creating jobs for people. I'm showing folks how to build or helping people assist with bringing that building energy out of, not necessarily showing them how, just assisting them. Because a lot of people, when I see them, I'm already looking at them and take, taking them on by spirit and saying, yeah, I know he can do this. They don't have a difficult time. It's gonna be frustrating for him. A lot of a lot of people I already see it inside of them, the shit that they can do and capable of when it comes to construction. I can identify very well, like, 
what they good at when they come to like multiple areas, you know, that's available. So if I see somebody moving around up and down the ladder and they on that step ladder pretty comfortable and they pretty flexible with how they, you know what I'm saying, moving, they safety on point, their awareness, all of that, I'm going to keep that guy, I'm going to keep him in that area. Somebody else might not be as good and productive. They might be a liability. So it's like, I'm going to do what I can do wherever I'm at. Like, that's just me. Because I feel like that's the only way that that's the only way that the world can become a better place. How do the world become a better place? If we don't motherfucking place ourselves in the world to, to, to give it that energy. Like I have to give it that energy because this ain't the world. This ain't the fucking world right here. This shit can get cut off just like this. Watch this. Guess what? When that shit get cut off, we still exist. Don't we still exist? So when this world get cut off just like this, What you gonna do? Who you gonna talk to? Who you gonna interact with? How many people phone number you got? How many people email address you got? How many people you pinpointed as far as like cities and states and zip codes you got? Unity. 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 But y'all ain't got none of this shit, huh? But it's unity, huh? Okay.